It's only because of the capitals. Y'all can, can hear the song? What? Can I hear the song? Uh, look. Yeah, not no lot, though. How about now? Yeah, I can hear now. A good amount. You can hear it better? Yeah, it's straight. All right, man. Y'all can still hear me fine? Mm hmm. All right. Yeah. Well, with that being said, man, we are back for another great, amazing show. I yeah. know what it is. We're going to give y'all some time to join up. You know what I'm saying? Start tagging people in the comments. Hashtag TSDOE. And give it about five minutes before we get this show started, man. We got an exciting show for y'all. There's a lot to talk about, man. It's been a crazy it's been a crazy seven days, 2021, and we just got here already. You know what I'm saying? Had some breaking news on the show last week or last or last Tuesday, this past Tuesday, man. If I get a joint mm -hmm. popper, man, make sure y'all hop in. Oh, oh, Speaking oh, of I'm breaking news, up. what's up? Speaking of breaking news, bro, two what's million up? dollars until April. Hey, been confirmed, bro. What? He lost. Yeah, bro. Dr. Dre coming out two mil already, bro. It's an April. Coming out bro. two mil? To an April? Mm -hmm. My nigga just got put in the He lost game. that game? He yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, he didn't lose. He didn't lose the big one. He just got a, a pay for lifestyle costs until he go into court. You know what I'm saying? So, he oh, got to pay no. that two mil by, by January 11th. He got I think two million. Wait, what, what happened? Why, why, why does he owe two mil? I mean, bro, that's just how it worked, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean? You, how what works? So, like, so I, I just want you to understand this, right? If you are, if you're the breadwinner in this like in a relationship, bro, and say like you like break up with your girl or whatever, or whatever, you you have to pay for your girl's lawyer, <laughs> everything to fight against you. So speaking of that, because they're separated. He has to pay her two million just to maintain the lifestyle that she's living yep. until they actually go to court. So yep. I mean security, everything. So they, they said two million dollars will suffice for the payment of their house and uh, something else until April. And he has to cop that up by January eleventh. But you know, well, he it, got it, that, really. that ain't nothing. Yeah, ain't but not if someone tells you, yeah. hey bro. Yeah, but someone yeah. tells you, like, hey, bro, you need, I need $2 million by tomorrow. I mean, Dude, you yeah, I understand. You I understand that's a heavy price. Hey. It's still a heavy price. I don't care if I got it or not, bro. That's still a heavy price. I got yeah. but $2. It's still heavy okay. for me right now. I ain't trying to give up $2 when I don't want <laughs> You know what I mean? I got 200 hey. I'm stingy with my money. I work hard for it. I ain't trying to get that out. I mean, I mean she worked hard, too, bro. Mm. She work hard. She got her own money. Yeah, she do. It's in his bank account. You feel yeah. me? That's why she got that two mil. Obviously, bro. Come on, bro. Hey, real quick, I want to give a shout out to my to new impressions. Still out here doing the thing, cranking. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in the yes, no more. I still bang with the go-go. I'm still blasting it. Nobody out here knows what it is though, so I be feeling dumb as a mug. You know what I'm saying? But I still bump that joint. No impression, still cranking. They just they they never gonna lose it. No, I mean NIB. Hey, no impression, little garage, bro. Hey, 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 you say it's no impression better than garage? Mm -hmm. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I do like no impression. I will say this. I will say this, bro. I will say yeah, this, bro. Right. this bro. Tob been cranking too. Know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But no okay, impression still got it on lock. Go ahead. Go ahead. What's up? Hey, hey, like what's up, little bro? Wow. What's up? What's up with Moot? What, what, is, what is this man doing, man? Thank you, man. Oh. Oh. Gotta keep the glizzy on. What's up? Oh, what, what you carrying? No. Oh, the original? You got the original glizzy? Oh, you got the other glizzy? Yeah, you said what? I got the I got the customized John. Customized. You got you got what on you? Oh, you got, you got the got little nerve. You got what you got on you? Customized. Customized. Hey, what you what you tell him? What you tell him? What you say? Oh, look, man. 
Let him know what you say. I say, if you don't up your glizzy, we going to get busy. Bottom line. A bottom <laughs> line. <laughs> oh, so y'all got, y'all got weaponry. Man, I wish I could pull mine out. Hey, we are lying. We are lying. We don't need hey, come no. on. It's, 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 it's a nerve gun, bro. It's a nerve gun. No, dude. We be, we be in the crib getting busy having nerve battles. But with that mm-hmm. being said, you better this countdown, man. Get this show officially no started out already. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two. All right, man. With that being said, uh, like five, man. We about to get this show started. And we're going to jump right into it, man. Cal, mm-hmm. speak on it how you want to speak on it. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to speak on it, don't speak on it. Uh, right. He's on the Capitol building, bro. That's today. All some big wild yeah. stuff, man. No, oh, you don't talk about the rip, bro. The rip, oh. bro. We starting off like this, bro. Let me take it back. Wow. They ain't storming the Capitol building, bro. They were letting the Capitol building. Start off with that. Yes, awesome. you know that is the correct way to I properly own. say that they were let in. Because I remember when we tried to get in tear gas, mm-hmm. some old stuff. Well, that's not that oh. try to get in, but we tried to. Try to right, we ain't trying. We just walking. Mm-hmm. And we get tear gassed, we get shot at, we get pushed around. So I know, Cal. Once again, Cal, let me know if you what you comfortable with talking with. What you comfortable? She, with. Goddamn, they they open the door for him. Here you go. You what, is, what is your thoughts? You know what I'm saying? I I I just want real raw thoughts. We all four of us. When Lou come back, he'll be back. All four of us are young African American black males. You know what I'm saying? We've seen the news. When it's one way, we see news, man. It's another way. So I just want it's it's other black young men out there. You know what I'm saying? So I just want views coming from y'all. All right, I'm gonna give you my first view, bro. This is live, uncut. All right, my view is no comment. All right, be cool with that. Go ahead. Well, he don't got a comment, but damn it, I'm a comment. Um, <laughs> that shit was pathetic. Now, whether or not y'all had an agenda, y'all just made the whole country look bad. We we don't we look bad, we look soft. It's a lot of things that we look that ain't good, man. Stupid. Like, we real we real live just gave the keys to these to these other countries. Facts. The U.S. ain't gonna do shit. You should be gonna walk right into him. Oh yeah, I do. Get some white folk. <laughs> hey, look, man, I had a theory. I, before I get, I had a theory. Before I get back to my series, no, I had a theory. I said, you know uh-huh. what? I said, you know, you know that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna hire these white folk. They're gonna give them some money. You know what I'm saying? Just try to get in there, and then they're gonna do some shit. They say they're gonna say, yeah, we're gonna give y'all some money, right? Hmm. It's gonna happen. They're gonna be like, oh yeah, all this money for me too. Yeah, I need it. Blah blah blah. They're gonna do the shit, achieve the goal, then they're gonna kill their ass again. So like, it was there's no point. But that's just my theory. <laughs> that's just my theory. You know what I'm saying? That's just my theory. But on some serious stuff, man. That, that shit right there was pathetic, man. It was uncalled for. We didn't get the same treatment they got, and no one feels bad for the person. Well. From yesterday, I heard one person died, but now it's four people died. Four people died. Yeah. yeah. People died. Give me one yeah. second. Y'all go ahead. Hold on one second. Four people died. Move. What's your take? How you, how you feel? You are the youngest out of the crew. You know what I'm saying? So you got you got a different perspective than we do. You know what I'm saying? And plus, because you because you are younger, yeah. you haven't been around and and conscious. For some of the other things that happen, so I want to get your—I really want to get your take on how you feel, Rob. You in the background? If you want to say something, you can say something too, man. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I think it's real wild what's going on because you—it's getting to the point where 
you don't even have to be in a, a political state of mind or even that old to know that these people are treating, you know, white people completely different. A child knows right from wrong if he's raised correctly. Even if a child doesn't think like the difference between our wrong, they can tell, they can spot differences on the way that they're treating us between white people. I could have a middle schooler come up and say, show him, you know, the peaceful Black Lives Matter protest that was going well, some of the peaceful Black Lives Matter protests that was going on, and then show him this protest and be like, what's the difference? And he can mm-hmm. point out everything that's going wrong with it the, based off of like what the police are saying. Like, the police said they were overwhelmed. <laughs> o- overwhelmed. <laughs> By what? You have a gun. You, what is overwhelming you? Shoot them. Bottom line, let it spray. Because if it was if it was a, a group of us, like let's say us four, got a group of everyone who looked like us, not these, you know, black people who look and play the role of a white person, but black young African American men and women who are in touch with their blackness and know who they are, walk up on that. We wouldn't make it past the first step, right? And then they were saying they didn't want to call the Coast Guard in, but. The Coast Guard were the first people on the steps when when we was protesting. It's just, it's crazy because you think like, especially being my age, you hear growing up about it in um in school and learning about segregation and slavery and the difference in the way they treated us and this that and third. And you're taught to see that now it's not like that. But then you see stuff like this, and it's like, well what's what's the difference the only difference is now it's publicized more like more people know about it right but it's definitely it's definitely wild 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 they it it makes it hard it makes it hard for me to sympathize for white people like they said one of the one of the ladies who died was a trump supporter and me and my friend were Mm -hmm. talking about it and we were saying like she was a, a cocktail. I think it was the first woman who died, a Caucasian lady. She was a Trump supporter. And me and my mm-hmm. friend were looking at each other like they're talking about some oh, say her name, this, that, and the third. That all could have been avoided. Your pro the reason for you protesting is because your president lost the election. Mm-hmm. You had no mm-hmm. valid reason for protesting. It wasn't no movement involved in it. There was no change that was going to... There was nothing you could have did to change it. Your protesting was meaningless. The reason why the black people were protesting because black people have been getting killed for the past 400, whatever, how many years it's been for literally nothing. So right. the fact that they're trying to correlate the two and make it the same, put it at the same type of... um, Put it on the same pedestal as as... You know, the things that we go through is kind of like disrespectful at a certain point. And then to overtake uh, our country's capital. Now you're not only disrespecting us, but you're disrespecting the entire country. And if I was someone who, I mean, I'm all for my country, but if I was one of those people who was like, oh, America's the greatest country on earth. And I saw that I'd be pretty upset. Right. I mean. For real, for real, it sucks. Um, as much as they try to hide it and you know give it other reasons why certain things are happening, like at this point, there there is no like way you can cut it. Like it's so obvious. Um, and I I honestly don't understand it, and maybe I can't understand it because I'm in a certain state of mind where a lot of people aren't in that state of mind. But, like, black, of course, black Twitter was going crazy with the jokes, you know what I'm saying? They had jokes for days. Of course. But in reality, like, After. the the if you were watching CNN last night or just watching any of the coverage that happened here and there, like, it really looked like a scene off a of White House down. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and for it to really be, for it to be like that. Yeah, pipe bomb. Capital. Man, it's... It's it's ridiculous, nah, and nah. it doesn't only that's negatively. Wild. That's it spreads so loud. It it's, doesn't it's only negatively affect like the fight of like 
like black life not spending faith to black lives matter or the fight for social it equality is. but on top of it that sure like is, it's bro. a slap it's a slap in the face to america because here we are we're supposed to be you know the strong one of the strongest countries you know in the world and we are getting overran by our own people so how does that make it look you know what i'm saying to another country like russia I'm saying North Korea, like, oh, where that's all we gotta do? Like, we could have been did that. So now, yeah. by you doing that, you've put American lives at a greater danger. You know what I'm saying? I understand your president lost, and you and some of them truly feel like he lost wrongfully, which you're entitled to your own opinion. That's democracy. It's about how you go about it. And when one group of people and we don't let's, live in a democracy let's be, no let's more. Let's be fair. We don't live I, in that. I, that, live, that whole part of politics is hard for me to get into because I don't under, I don't understand that that part of politics. <sighs> um, but I don't know, bro. I just can't really get down with it, man. It just if you take race out but of it, I, I and just have one group of people, one group of people who are protesting peacefully, and they're getting shot down, shot rubber bullets, air canisters, all that stuff put on them and you have another group of people they could be fat nose and, and little nose you know what i'm saying they could be tall and short it's still wrong it, at, at this point it's past color we know color is the main issue but it's past color now that's what i was about to say i was going to say like it's not a it, it's not i mean yeah it's politically based but at this point it's not a political issue it's like a a human issue like human nature issue between one group of people and another group of people. It shouldn't be like that. It's wrong right. no matter how you put it or no matter what the circumstances are, no matter if, even if the roles were reversed, some people might not agree, but even if it was us who who did the, uh, ran in through the Capitol and we weren't shot, but they did the peaceful peaceful protest and people was getting shot rubber bullets, it'd still be wrong regardless. It's not, it, at this point, it's no, it's no longer putting in the aspect of, um, I mean, yeah, it is race thing, unfortunately, but it's not putting the aspect of oh, political. Um, you know what I'm trying to say, and like a political standpoint. Now it's it's more right. so of of human nature, knowing the difference between what's right and wrong, and no. And I'm not gonna lie, having the self conscious of knowing that you're doing wrong. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like yesterday, when I first when I first seen it, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was like, man, shoot them all down. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Whether it be with Anything. I, that's how I felt. I Truth being, being true and raw, I felt I, like shoot him down, bro. Justice. Like I don't care. That's treason. You know what I'm saying? Gun like, that right there. And it's not just treason by like one. It's treason by a group of people. And I feel bad. And I feel bad for the people, the men and women in service. They said Colin Kaepernick was disrespecting them, but we have people out here serving our country. You know what I'm saying? And they're storming the Capitol over a presidency and destroying the Capitol. You know what I'm saying? I feel bad for our men and women because, in my opinion, that's a slap in the face to our men and women in uniform. More than somebody taking a knee. That's a bit. Anytime you commit treason, you pretty much forget anybody that has done anything for this country and keep this country safe. And that's what that was last night. You know what I'm saying? So I, yeah. I feel bad. And I'm not going to lie. I wanted, I'm going to play devil's advocate right here. I'm not going to lie, bro. I, wanted, I felt like shoot them down. But at the same time, I felt like, well, how can I say that Absolutely, when man. I'm when I'm saying like th I don't want the police to do that? So I, at the same time, I felt like don't shoot them down. And then when we protest, don't shoot us down. No, I feel if, you. If, if that makes sense, I you know what I'm saying I don't want to sit there and be like police doing this, and then one group of people be like, <laughs> oh, forget it, do that, do that, do that. Because mm -hmm. then I, I look like a hypocrite. <laughs> so cool, you didn't shoot them uh, down. You know what I'm saying? You handled it the right way. Okay, cool. Hey, do that very so same look, thing next time, bro. Hey. So look, I'm gonna I'm speak on something, but I'm not gonna speak on that. I'm just gonna say this, right? Okay. If one person is doing something in the rules of the law, right? Mm -hmm. And another person is breaking the law, there should be punishment. Absolutely. That's just basically, so that's all I, hey, you take it how you take it. It's, I'm just speaking on just based on laws, right? You mm -hmm. know, if you want to protest, you just find you can literally through your city file a protest thing. See, you know, where, what time they approve it, then it's a go. You know what I'm saying? That's how you commit right. a protest for all people, everybody. You know what I mean? 
If that's what you want to do, that's how you go through it. You go through your city and, you know, you put it out there. If you do it legally or whatever, for whatever reason, wrong is wrong in the law standpoint. So, uh, on that standpoint, right, mm -hmm. I can respectfully say that, you know, follow the law, man. Don't, you know what I mean? Like, don't do nothing stupid. Don't break it. Just do what you're supposed to be doing. And right. it should go as it's supposed to go. Mm, that's all I got to say. Man. I ain't not always okay. With all, with all no. disrespect, with all disrespect, I feel like when it comes to that capital situation, bro, I need justice. I ain't not going to hold you. I, I'm i not going to sit here and pretend as if, like, as if, like, hey, you want, little bro. Uh, you want justice? Little bro. Little I need bro. justice. Wait, wait, wait. Little wait, bro. Hold on, Kyle. Hold on, Kyle. You can't, you can't interrupt him now. I no, mean, not. I, but I'm not. I just, I just trying to get him to understand, like, you have people that take pictures and doing a lot of stuff, right? Look, You're gonna get your. That's yours. cool. That's cool. Look, just, here's just, how I see just it. look out. You feel Wait, me? What, what do you mean? What do you mean justice though? What do you? What, what do you? What do you mean by justice? I'm gonna I'm leave it at at. We've lost. We've lost over five, ten, fifteen people to peaceful protests, lifting our voices, and holding signs, bro. Mm -hmm. We've been we've been victimized. We've been, we've been, uh, um, we've been viewed as the bad guys for for not even our actions, and our justice system is so corrupt, bro. It's like, it's like being being a black. It's been kid, that way. Be, being a, it's been that way. Our our for well, hundreds America, of years. America is founded on all on the concept of of in in, in the Constitution. It's saying. Three is it three fourths of a man? We are three fourths of a man. That's not even. They don't even view us as whole men, bro. They don't even view us as whole men. So therefore, when it comes to our justice system, for them to look at me and say, based off color, he could be suspect. And then when you got factual proof that another, let's just put it out there, white man has done something, yet they can retaliate because they want to respect them. As a human, what am I? Dog food? No, hey. no, that's not that's not okay, bro. If I'm peacefully protesting, but yet they can raid the Capitol. Oh no, no. I mean that go to show you white privilege. No, you know exactly. I, mean? I, I don't want to hear. Say. I don't want to hear not another white. I'm scared or whatever to say. The case it is, say something like, say something like, oh man, it's unfair, or or in terms of just being uh, ungrateful towards towards what they have. I need them to recognize that it's real. Like, I mean, don't, don't you know that life ain't fair? I hear that. I understand that. And I feel, that's like, like, all, I feel like we all have known from our folks, and they've told us. Absolutely. Life is not fair. So I feel like you carry yourself in a manner that's going to keep you alive. And that's, that's fair. Carry yourself in a manner that's going to keep you alive. Peaceful protests, do that. I'm all about it. But what I'm not going to do is sit here and act as if, like, a whole bunch of these people can raid the Capitol. That's terrorism. That's that's terrorist action. You can't raid the Capitol and have our, our, our military sit here and be like, well, I mean, this is our people. Yet, yet we have peaceful protests and you ready to gun us down because because we speak in our voices because we lifting them? No, 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 no. That's not no. why. No. Black. That's like, look, I'm, look. I mean, now you use the word black. Look, black. white on I mean, white crime is not is no is no better than black on black crime. So I don't understand as to why no. black folk get gunned down, but white people sometimes get gunned down. Hey, that that don't sit right with me. You look, I'm I'm confident for every for every hundred person you saw raid the Capitol, there may have been three people, three black people in that thing. Maybe what's sad, what's, what's sad, is, what's really sad just though, is that it really, it really was black people in that joint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I understand we all got different views, I wish I could see but for sure, no, I seen, I seen, sure. I seen some. I'm just like, I understand different views, and I'm never going down anybody else's views for sure, but I don't understand how you can be for something that is 100% purposefully against you. 
That's against, what I understand. Dave, that's against not, you, bro. Dave, Dave, against you. You said what, Cal? There's no Dave. way. What's up, Cal? Talk to me. Mm. I'm trying to be nice. He ain't going to say nothing. Just, mm. I know. Okay? I'm trying. So, respectfully, if mm-hmm. we could get off the subject, uh, I would really, really be happy. We about to get off the subject. Yeah, we are. I know Cal can't really talk about Thank it. Thank you. Thank Dre, you. you want to see what you last, and then we're going to get off the topic. I know he okay. wants to see something he can't. Yeah, okay. Real fast. I Real just fast. also, even though it is happening, you know, to us, I still feel like the reason why us as a society won't change is because no one is going to start. I don't know if y'all seen That's social true. media or not, but <laughs> they real live have memes of the lady that died right now. <sighs> and I said, like, this just happened yesterday. This person, mind you, she's Republican, but she has her own views, but she just she just passed away. Y'all yeah, not gonna let her family guy. breathe yeah. and and her her fellow soldiers, you know, pay their respect to her. Like they didn't even look, give it a moment. And no, I look, said, look, bro. Bro. Oh, and I you said, got, got the topic, bro. No, 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 not that. You, you. I'm not even on the topic, bro. I'm just gonna speak on human beings and human nature, bro. Because this is something that I really. I told y'all, like, I'm dead ass, bro. I'm literally about to run for Maryland, like governor, bro. I'm not Please, bullshit. Dude. Dead ass, bro. So when I'm speaking on this, like, I'm speaking like 100 true and how I really feel, bro. Like, okay, people don't care anymore, bro. They don't. But and I mean not 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 about nothing about nothing, bro. I'm just gonna speak I on nature, change. bro. I'm I'm people general. are not gonna change. Like people are not gonna care. And what I mean by that is like you expected someone to care about you, right? And anyway, I don't care about like whatever way you're talking. People mm-hmm. do not care. You want change and this and this and this. I always remember like the people that we idolize. They're most of them only do things to get views and to so they can feel like they're like feel better about themselves because of views that's just how the internet works nowadays you know what i'm saying so when people be like oh this and this oh justice for this and this i need this and this most of the time they're just doing it for views bro they're not doing anything for for doing that, bro. so you know now knowing that it's like we need to change in a cultural standpoint but also you need to change in a bigger scheme and picture you know what i'm saying and right. there's a lot more that um what i personally have ideas that i can say and speak on but culture but we're going we i going cannot to. so uh yeah but um you know when when it's time and um when we time and it's ready yeah, to push bro when it's time i yeah. trust me so, there's going to be a time and a place where people of like minds are going to do something more than just speak on it. You know what I'm saying? It's How many people do you know that just speaks on stuff but don't actually take action in our own system? You know what I'm saying? And this is no secret. You know what I'm saying? So, There's a reason why in most neighborhoods that has the highest crime rates have the worst school system funding. There's a reason, right? There's a reason mm-hmm. why you're not taught um, financing anymore in school. There's a reason. Right. So, and all this stuff being said, right? Um, we take a shot. You just gotta be patient. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta, you gotta understand, and you gotta move correctly. True, if you're gonna say something and do something, do it for a good cause, and always do it the correct way, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Always wish peace upon everybody. You know, I don't, I don't care what. And what that's color what you are, people don't know how to do. I'm not saying this. They don't know. I'm sorry. My country. I'm looking at my country as a whole. No, hey, hey. You know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you this, right? I've been around everywhere. It's a world problem, bro. It's a world problem. Okay, okay. Okay. It's a world okay. problem. You 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 been you it's not it's not I'm the it's same. not just like here, bro. Like there's places that is worse, bro. I'm pretty sure not. I'm talking about worse. Sure. Sure. And everywhere, right. like there's worse places. So, and that's saying just like just be patient. You know, change is going to come, and you know your words are definitely gonna hurt. And 
Just know when you have a right to stand up and do something, bro, do it for the correct time. Bro. Everything's sure. gonna be all right. All right. So with that being said, I I I we're gonna move on from this topic. Me personally, yeah. I know there's some things that we try to stay away from, but I felt like we needed to spend the first um half of the show talking about that mainly because it was a good segment you know, like we we not we not we on this podcast bro this is no we, we on this podcast and yeah it would be dope if we get a bunch of views and you know what i'm saying it get, it get popping but that's not the reason why we do this podcast like what we're doing right now we do this like every day outside this podcast on the phone together when we out hooping or whatever the case may be so this is just something that we do for fun something that we do sometimes to get stuff off of our chest you know what i'm saying like that's all it is so if there ain't anything for the views for and we're going here and talk for show for show I felt like this was four young black men, five with Rob, that just need, wanted to talk about what happened, which we have that right. So that's I the reason why we did that. Hey, I, had, I, had to, I had to go ahead and start that for the, for the first half of the show. So we're going we to end the serious note. You know what I'm saying? I need some smiles, some laughs, some something, man, because that dream is hella serious. Hella serious. But man, it sure yeah. is. It sure is. Look, Calvin, I'm, I'm waiting for you to be great, bro. So I can just waiting. I'm you said waiting. 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 I, waiting. I, well, I'm waiting. I, I'm already in terms, great. In, in terms of, in terms <laughs> of like, I don't know. I can't wait I to like enough. see you on my timeline, bro. Like, mm -hmm. please. The moment, the moment I see a, a your name in a ballot pool, just mm -hmm. know you have my vote. All, all rips. And hey, I respect my, it, bro. I respect vote, it. Oh, you, bro. You threw that out there. You said you was. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna, say, I'm not gonna repeat. We're not gonna. We're not gonna talk about it too much, but. Because you already oh, yeah. put it on the show, so you already stamped it. Yes. I don't want you to say it again, but just know you got it one. It is what it is. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I, thought was, yeah. I thought it was cool. I ain't, I ain't know, but it was, I'm new to this enough. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, this is this is just something that, like, you know, I, you know, I just been feeling. And, you know, I talked to some people. And yeah, they just felt like this was just like something that we could just pursue. If it falls, it falls, you know what I'm saying? If it goes, it goes, you know what I'm saying? But hey, hey at least I'm going, you, you know, any way that I can like try to like, you know, better our communities, please, no matter mm -hmm. what it is, bro. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna sit back. I'm a star, bro. All of us are stars, bro. I'm not gonna be humble about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm cocky. I don't care. Like, I'm the best thing that ever happened in this world. And if you don't agree with that, that's fine. But when I show you, please do respect it. You know what I'm saying? That's all For I show. Sure. I mean, Kyle said he I'll, gonna back up his word. I'll, 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 meet, I'll meet you there, brother. Hundred percent. So hundred percent. I don't care what it is. Next topic. It we gonna talk about this real briefly. You know what I'm saying? Because it isn't anything that's in concrete. You know what I'm saying? You know, I just got. I just want to know how y'all feel about this. Ooh, if y'all can really, I know you not. not. I know you not, brother but, Steve. Allegedly, allegedly, Kanye West <laughs> was smacking down Jeffrey Star. What? Allegedly, Bro. allegedly. You know what's now, crazy? Now Jeffrey Stars Whoa. came back and said, you know, what I'm saying that he he didn't do it, but when it broke last night. It got broke. Go on Twitter. It broke last night during this whole yeah. riot. Era. <laughs> Kanye was smacking down Jeffree Star, bro. I don't know how I feel about it. Cause I want to say that there's no way it could be true. But nowadays, bro, I'm not surprised or shocked by anything at all. By anything. And if it is true, I don't feel no different towards Kanye. I'm just like, dang. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And what if, what if that's if you don't like Kim, Kim Kardashian getting a divorce? Yo. I... I just looked it up, and she. Hmm? They tweeted. Hmm? Last night was fun at Kanye. Oh. Whoa, look, look, whoa! Before you, before you, before you, before you say that, make sure you read when it was said, though. Read, read the date on that tweet. Twenty eleven. Oh, I do say eleven. Twenty eleven. Um, so, granted, but you, you don't know what could have happened. So hey, we gonna, we gonna keep an eye. We gonna keep an eye on that. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm not surprised by anything. So I just had to let y'all know what's what's popping with that. Next topic: Why K. Osiris sold all his luxury vehicles oh. and got him a, got him a Hyundai. A Hyundai. 
I said Hyundai. I'm ugly. A Hyundai. Hey, which one? What type? What type? What type of Hyundai though? They uh, look like is it the, the Genesis. Yeah, the look like the, the, like the, new, truck. the new Hyundai truck. That's yeah, yeah, I'm with that. It's decent. I'm with, with that. The, with the white, thing, the black, black top, the infinity roof. Some yeah, roof. I like that. It's, it's, it's a decent car. He like said those. that he don't got he don't got flex for the ground no more. So why have all these, you know, what I'm saying expensive cars? So Absolutely. that brings the question: Do you think rappers are getting cars because they really like these foreign cars and they really want these, or is it all a flex? Look, look, look. is it all a flex? I, I, I was about to say, I've been told that niggas really rent. They they rent them motherfuckers. Lease. Little baby, Lease. little baby, Lease. Lease or whatever. Yeah. They rent them motherfuckers. Yeah. Hey, yeah. but there's nothing against that, bro. I, I, no, I'm it is not. Before. I would do the same the exact thing. Rain, Hell yeah, it's yeah. all about cool. But I'm just saying though. It is. I, listen, when I when I listen to people, I like when I just say raps. And I like I like to hear the shit that's real and they raps. So a lot of niggas talk about mm-hmm. like, right. I got. When I say when I hear I got, that means I own. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Just so so you, on you, that note, right? Do you same, feel like this same? No, because look, look, Chippy Red. Well, up in the house. House. Or did you Chibi really Red, Red, I'm just saying Chippy Red when that blue face for putting his rolly, uh putting his rolly on um Instagram or whatever it was on, and mm-hmm. it was his appraisal, and it was forty eight thousand dollars. And Trevor mm-hmm. Ray telling him because he was just like, "Yo, why are you showing it? Like, people already know you're rich. We listen to you. Right. We buy your stuff. Right. We know that you're rich. Why do you have to do that?" And he was just like, "I haven't bought right. a chain since 2018. I'm not going to show you how much it costs because it's just a trophy for me. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I love where his direction is going because it's like." It doesn't matter. But then also I love what direction it's going because Hyundai is trying to rebrand to a luxury brand. As y'all did not know. So you got like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you got all the luxury <laughs> aspects in this Hyundai. I used to have one, by the way, until I upgrade to BMW. <laughs> so I'm flexing myself. Uh, but, <laughs> but you you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a good car. Like, I don't, 100,000 miles guaranteed. You feel me? Why would you want to, why would you want to, a car that you only can drive like 500 miles, then you need to get like an oil change or something crazy like that. And you, all you did is drive around the block for a Lambo, and it costs like a thousand dollars or like three thousand dollars to get that. I'm not doing that, bro. Oh, you know, same man. How you feel, how you feel, how you feel, how you feel about him selling all his luxury cars uh-huh. and getting a, a Honda? Because I, I know what you want your I know what you want your first car to be for real, for real. but I also Ooh, know the what, reason why. What's your first car? car? What's your first car? What do you want it to be? That's what I want, bro. You want a Tesla? You want a Tesla? That's his first car. But he's been saying that since he was like 13. You know what I'm saying? Before he even really knew about what he wanted. He said he liked that you. You know you don't own a Tesla, though, right? I did not know that. Let me let me let me break it down for you, bro. Because people don't know this, bro. No, I hope you're not trying to keep down man dreams, though. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. not. <laughs> hey, hey, we talk all the time. I'm and not. I tell you all the time, Cyber Truck is a good truck, bro. That's my favorite truck. With 20, hey, 2021, 2022. Are you trying to convince me of something else? Oh, don't start. Mm-hmm. That, man. A Cyber Truck is a Tesla. What are you talking about? Oh, oh it's, it's a Tesla, Tesla. Cyber Truck. It is. Cyber Truck is a Tesla. About? Okay, but I ain't even cars, bro. Don't come at me like I'm that. Just trying to, I'm just trying to put my boy in <laughs> into game, bro. Oh, All right, put them in real quick. Teslas do not have auto body shops, right? No one has the components to fix a Tesla. It so they send problem. out people to fix them for you, right? They True. send them to your house and fix them, right? So what happens when your warranty or they do not make those parts to your car anymore? They do not send anybody out to fix those parts for you because it's not on underneath their little program or whatever. So now you have to either fix them yourself or then buy a new car. Now, Tesla has a ring of which it only goes up to six to seven years after you buy the car. So you bought a whole brand new car, which is the S type. That's what I'm talking about. That after six years, they don't even make them that way anymore. So you can't even buy the parts to them because Tesla owns everything. So now you're patterning up the creek with no paddle. Like you're just sitting there stuck with a car that don't work. 
Well, I mean, if there is a situation like that that happens, then that's just the Lord telling me that it's time to buy a new Tesla. And she moved. I was gonna say that. I hope it's going in. You funny. In six years, they'll make forty new Teslas, and I'll buy the newest one. There you go. Hey, you funny. So why don't, why don't you lease it though? Like if you know this is gonna happen, what about lease? I was gonna lease it. I was gonna out money like that. You might as well just lease the Tesla. It's gonna be cheaper. You got, com- you you got a comment. It said many wealthy people lease things and rent things just because they can. They don't. Yeah. They can afford to buy it, but they choose not to. You know what I'm saying, bro? I, and I, the the best way, the best way mm-hmm. to 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 stay rich mm-hmm. is to income. stay rich. The way to stay rich is to stay rich. Think about that. If I have forty dollars, I'm not uh-huh. gonna have forty dollars if I just paid thirty five dollars to go get food. But so it goes back to that though. I understand that because it's like, it goes all about APR, right? Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. how much you're actually listening for, like F. So the golden ratio is three. Okay. Right. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Three percent. Right. Te- right. Cal's teaching economics because right now, y'all. I am, bro. This is my thing. Go ahead. Go know, ahead. Go ahead. I'm listening, bro. Like three percent. The national rate of depreciation is between three to four percent. So if I can get something, um. Uh, for three percent, but I can make more money from like a like a house or stocks, and it's guaranteed to be seven percent raised, right? Why would I pay it in full when I can just throw it in that and then make seven percent, pay the measly three percent, and take four percent home every year? So you agree? So you agree with move? Is the rich? Stay rich by being rich. That's how they do it, though. Like I'm just yeah. teaching y'all how to do it. Don't be paying for for cars. You're a fool, bro. Like exactly. Of course. Whoever spends a stay full rich, month for a car, rich. bro. Keep, like that's keep junk, your money to stay rich. Okay, okay, okay. But, so, right, so, so, but do y'all think go ahead, cool real quick, and then we go on to the next topic. Y'all saying it's cool to do that, though. But when you going in your yes. raps and you claiming that you got this, you got that, that ain't technically that you don't got shit. You're written. But they do. Right, they, they do. They, nah, they, 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 in a way, they do. No. They do. In my, in my opinion, in my opinion it's wrong. Because uh-huh. they, in my opinion, it's wrong because wow. they put on facade as if like, yeah, like I own this. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. Hey, you know, listen, 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 I can do what listen, I want to do with it when in all reality, it's not so, like that. Hey, it's a facade that they're putting on. Hey, Mo, Mo, you can go and I'm going I'm to I'm say my opinion after you. Go ahead. Uh, and then we let's say on. they have the ability mm-hmm. to to have it, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say mm-hmm. I have the money to buy a Tesla three times over. But mm-hmm. it. If I buy mm-hmm. my rap, I got it. Even though I'm written it, it don't matter because I could go out and get it anyway. So I'm. But you don't at that moment. But you don't at that moment. It's not true. It's not true. You're driving it. You're literally driving it. How do you how do you not own that? I'm driving. I'm driving my 2021 uh Toyota Corolla. And I still don't own it right now. No, it doesn't. Temporarily, but it belongs to me. To you. Because if in Maryland, in Maryland, you don't get your title until it's paid off. So it's not your Hey, Look, if it did not belong to me, anyone could just walk in my house and drive it because it's not mine. It doesn't belong to me. It can be taken from you the moment you got it. All right, and look, 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 look. No, it can't because you own it. Hey, Rob. Hey, Rob. I'm going to put you on. I'm gonna put you on game, bro. And this is what this is what the culture I'm telling hey, you about, Cal, bro. Hurry up, this is the culture on, I'm hurry literally up. telling you about, bro. Wait, wait, I'm telling you, we always. No, nah, bro. We always want to talk about how we lease. We don't own, like, bro. There's nothing wrong with having good credit, fool. Oh, there's no, nothing. No, wrong. Not good credit. Not. 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 So, no. So, listen what I'm saying, though. Listen what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with leasing the car. There's nothing wrong with financing the car because that's, cool. that's more money in your pocket. You technically I've never can own nothing that car. wrong with that, man. Yeah. I'm, saying, I'm not talking. I'm not saying that. Saying, saying that is this. In reality, it is it's not. It's not. I finance the car, but if I don't pay it, guess who's coming to take it? Okay, okay. You live in some. You you rent in a bank apartment. If you finance a car, house. it's underneath if you your name. If you rent in a bank apartment, but it can also be if taken from because it's paid out. Somebody's house is that your house? Wow. No, that is your room. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That is your like room. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. You don't know You have that same mentality. Every house that you buy underneath finances, you don't own that house. So every house that you put your name on and you pay the mortgage 
for not the rent, but the mortgage for you don't own that house. That's what you're saying. So that means I can't take equity out of my house because I do not own it. That is not correct, bro. That's not that's not bro. Right. You, can't, you, can't, you can't take you can take that's equity out of the house. You can take equity out of the house, but you don't own it fully because if you stop paying on it, they can come take it at any time. You don't own it fully. You do so, own it, it's so, not, but you don't own it. Different. That's different. That's whole. But that's, listen, no, listen, listen, listen. Hear me out. 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 I'm gonna listen. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Dre, hear me out. Hear me out. Dre, hear me out. We going on to the next topic. We gonna spend. We gonna spend this whole time. We gonna spend this whole time talking about this. Yeah, bro. I'm passionate about that. So, like, like, like a week ago. Like a week ago, I got into it with Dre. Because I said Stephen Curry mm -hmm. will not be an all star. Oh, oh. And then oh. this man comes and then this man comes and he drops 64 points uh like two days later. And I was hurt because I'm like, man, I gotta go on live and say I could have been wrong. Pause. I'm glad we didn't talk about this topic on Tuesday. Because what happened yesterday? Bradley Bill came in and dropped 60. Stop how it. many times, how many times has Stop Bradley it. Bill turned up in the season and not been an all-star? Bradley Bill just came in and saved my life. I'm back to saying Stephen Curry still will not be an All Star this year. I'm standing from that. He dropped 62 points. Who was they playing? The Timberwolves. The Timberwolves have no defense. Hey, they let Stephen Curry Dave. get the ball when he wanted, where he wanted, and he dropped bombs. Put him up against some good defense. They're gonna stop him like he Dave. been stopped all season. I still cannot Dave believe and this man is still on Dave and Dre. subject. I Mo, can't. please help me, bro. Because they're not understanding, bro. It doesn't matter, bro. Honestly, Stephen Curry is an icon, bro. He's an icon. It doesn't matter if he make, he's going to make the All-Star because of his name. I don't care if he drops two points a game. Wait, wait. If his name is Stephen Curry, he's going to make it to the All-Star, bro. Exactly. You said Bradley Bill. And Bradley Bill. He's not a superstar, bro. That's just not how it's going to work. He's a baller. But his brand is nowhere near mm -hmm. close. It's Stephen Curry. Nowhere. And guess what? It's, of and it's sad it's to say this, brother. Wait, it's sad to say this? I'm going to be honest with you. It's sad to say this. But the fans have a vote and a say who gets in the All-Star game. You think they're going to vote, not vote Steph Curry? The best so, three ball we've ever seen in our life? No. You're saying, you're, saying, I'm you're saying Bradley Bill is not a superstar. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're saying Bradley no, Bill is not a superstar. He's not. Okay, no, is not. Kevin Love is Kevin Love a superstar? No. What? How many? How many commercials have you seen uh, Kevin Love in? Oh, uh, but that's branding. We talking about stats? Bro. No, no. A superstar Bro. transcends okay, your okay, own mode. It's a superstar. Always remember that. We talk about stats. K Love has decent stats. I'm not going to say he has the best ones. But okay, he got okay. Decent stats. So I wouldn't consider him a okay, superstar. Okay, okay. Hold that thought. Hold that thought then. Since you want to bring up stat, when A want to talk about Steph Brandy. Curry, Steph Curry's a 50, 40, 90. So 50 from the field, 40 from three. Yeah. And 90 mm -hmm. from the field. That's solid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, solid not numbers, bro. Those are I, solid. I can't. Next subject. Next subject. Because he, he, he. No, <laughs> son. This Next stuff. Curry. Curry. Uh, Curry. 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 Curry is not going to be an all star. This show that Dre has this, skipped this the year. subject. Skips bro, because yeah, this is the first time I need my money. Come on, come on, come on. This is a new character development for Drake. Next time, wait, wait, this, whoa, is it this? We moved on, 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 we moved on. Yeah, she agreed with me. She had a bad, she had a bad take. She had a bad take. No, no, she had a bad take. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't even let her say she take a stop it. Darren, remember, remember the conversation we had with mom earlier about basketball, right? Get out of town. About, we're not even going to talk about that. Next subject, bro. We're not, we're not talking so about next subject. subject. Get out of next town. Subject. Yeah, come, come on, man. Come on. Okay. All right, we got, we got like 10 minutes left, man. We got to get these topics out of here. I got some more I got to talk about. First artist to have a real big hit song, 2021. Who is it going to be? I'm putting you on the spot. 2021. First artist to have a you big mean, hit song. So for us, for us, right? Like, you know, for us? Like, I know I'm talking like mainstream, like, Blow up bigs everywhere. Not for you. I'm gonna tell you everywhere. right now. And he's his his song came out in 2019, I believe. 
But the weekend has struck again, and I love it. <laughs> With that tears in your eyes. <laughs> So you saying oh, you can go have- reconstructed his face into a beautiful bliss? I love it, bro. I'm in love. <laughs> I love I'm it. sorry, I'm a weak this man. Man's album. I love Please. it, man. It's- hey, I love it. If y'all don't understand the whole meaning behind it, it's because it's about drunk driving. And basically, he went through this whole procedure to fix his face, and then he came back with a whole swollen face and everything to to start the new year with a banger. You know what I mean, like. Yes, that's so the first you're thing. Saying, you're saying the season. weekend is gonna have a, the first artist. You're saying the weekend's gonna be the, well, the first artist that a real big hit. Well, I mean, not real big hit. I mean, the song came out in 2019, so I mean, it's not big hit. That's the first artist to have a real big hit. Hey, he has the biggest. Uh, right now, he has the biggest. I'm just gonna talk about it. I don't know. I don't know. Who you got? See, y'all don't know. Y'all can't just give me somebody. Y'all want me to go for the weekend? Jasmine Sullivan for I, me, fool. Think, I think Jasmine it's going to be between... Get out of town. No, whoa, it's it's going to be between no, Drake I think or uh, a little dirt. But the first Drake, Drake, Drake got think? certified level coming Jasmine out. Sullivan, yeah, certified level uh, coming out, bro, this month. He's right. He's he's yeah, the first. Drake. Say, Drake got the first album coming out. He got, he got the first. He got the first big anticipated album of this year, bro. So I feel like he's going to be the first. But it's going to be a hit, though. Is it going to be a hit? When it was tough to when, say, look, look, that's what I'm saying. He has one hit on every on if y'all know about album, that, like, no, because his last album, what hit was his last album on uh, dark the little dark demo tape or the I think, I think exactly. better than his dark demo tape. His last one that had Fabio Future, you know what I'm talking about. Come on, stop. Playing. That's an EP out of album. That's the same thing, bro. It's just a nah, smaller version. We're not gonna, we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get into this topic. They're different. We don't get into this topic. Next thing. That's my thing. field. These are That's your field. I need. Are we tired of Shaq hating? I right, have y'all seen Shaq versus Rudy Gobert? Yeah, y'all see the comments. Let me hear no some comments. Okay. So are we Rudy Gobert signed an extension with the Utah Jazz, two hundred mm-hmm. mil. Two hundred mil because one Rudy a defensive player of the year award last year that he should not have. I know. So, I know, Ma. Shaq, Shaq put put a picture up of him dunking on Rudy Gobert out of nowhere, and says, "And I quote, <laughs> I would have, I would have forty five points, sixteen rebounds, ten missed free throws in three quarters. <laughs> he would have eleven points, four rebounds, and foul out in the third quarters. I'm a G." And then he posted another picture, or he commented again on somebody else's thing and said, "I'm not gonna hate." But this should be an inspiration to all the little kids out there. You average 11 points in the NBA, you can get $200 million. And then somebody commented back and said they would take Rudy Gobert and Kobe over Drake and Kobe any day. Are you taking Rudy Gobert and Kobe over Shaq and Kobe? I said Drake and Kobe. Over yeah, Shaq and Kobe. Drake. That's why I was like, what? What I'm looking at the comment. I'm looking at the comments. Dude said in a comment that he would take Rudy Gobert and Kobe over Shaq and Kobe any day. Would you take oh, Rudy Gobert no. and Kobe over? Hey, Shaq I'm gonna let the I'm gonna I'm gonna let the, the analysis do his job because come on. Now we going move first. We're I'm gonna look at move first. Wait, wait. Why? We why we, gonna, we, we, gonna, we, we all look agree on the subject. Do we gotta talk about it? No, I, I don't know. think we do. We don't. But no. we all know that, that Shaq is tripping because. Rudy Gobert is a defensive genius, bro. He uses size. Wait, 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 hold up. Wait, 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 wait a second. <laughs> what? What? Oh, no, no, is a dog. no, 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 no disrespect to shot. But you don't think that Rudy Gobert is worth his money? No. Oh, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Cal, Cal. Oh. No, 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 no. Before you get to that point, that's 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 a fair point. But we just want to make sure that you're not saying you that take him and Kobe. You you would take Rudy Gobert. <laughs> And Kobe? You was going through a hole in a yeah. whole different direction. No, I just skipped it because I was stupid. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, that's the mirror. I'm, I'm past that. Okay. That's stupid as hell. Okay, okay. I'm on. Like, 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 worth his money, though. Where the, mar- the, the market is going. Where the market is going. He's worth it. He's healthy. He's healthy. You, worth it. you pay the man. 
He didn't want multiple how much, defense. How much, how much did Jokic get paid? Multiple. How much did Jokic get paid? But but, but, but wait, 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 wait. But you also have to understand that this is a business. And right now, there is no one mm-hmm. out there that is better mm-hmm. at his job right now on the market Nobody. that you will pay Nobody. that for. So as a businessman, as business, we all know, if you don't resign that He's client. Out. Stop. Stop. He's out. Listen. So you're telling me. No. So you're telling me. Yo can sign an extension last year mm-hmm. or two years ago. 147 mm-hmm. mil. Oh, that was Jokic. That was it. Mm-hmm. Are you are you really gonna sit here and for tell how many me years? That for how many five years? Five years. Five? Okay. They both signed. They both signed five. I'm they gonna tell you why. Five years. Are you really saying mm-hmm. that Rudy Gobert is worth more money than Jokic? Than Jokic? No. Are you really no. sitting here and saying? Go ahead, Cal. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is it is it is it 2020? It's 2021. Is it 2021? Okay, what, it's what, 2021. When, when, he, when he homeboy signed his, he signed his. Let me pull it up. Oh wait, yeah, I'm not, I'm not in no rush. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm not before you, before you even pull it up, I'm gonna let you know this now. This is a thing called inflation in the world, <laughs> and uh, how the market works. 2020. Called? 2020. So 2020. He signed it. In- okay, so you're saying a total of 50 million between 2020 yeah. and 2021? Uh, he was texting me. Something like that. So, 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 so they, they both Found got five deals. Yeah. Rudy Gobert got two hundred mil. Nurkic got. Uh, Nurkic. Uh, Jokic got. got, got one hundred forty-seven. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna tell you why. Tell you why. Mm-hmm. Who is who is getting paid on the Utah Jazz? These nuts. No one. No one. No. 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 Jamal Murray. Murray. Jamal Murray. Jamal, Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray is getting paid. On, That's on not what I said. I said on the Jazz. Jazz. Oh, on the Jazz? Not on the Nuggets. The, the Jazz. jazz. Okay. Donald Donald Mitchell. Mitchell. Yes, 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 yes. He got paid. He just got paid. He just got paid. He got paid. Mm. He got paid. He got paid. I'm sorry. He, he, did. Did. he did. Paid him. He did. What other big contract is there on that roster? I, I'll wait. No. There is no other big. There is no other big. Oh, okay. So he's a what? A franchise player. Who who God. doesn't do who, who no one no one in the league does their job better than him. So guess what? You have to pay him. Oh, I'm not saying I'm not saying he, that he's not he, a franchise player. Bro. Let me tell you, what but, did, though. you said the reason ahead, why. Bro. You said the reason why um Denver he didn't get paid that more than he did, he probably would have. But guess what? He got Jamal Murray that's got paid. They're gonna have to pay uh uh Michael Porter Jr. next year. Oh, yeah. not, nothing crazy. Two years. Two years. He, he not, only came in here. It's just crazy, bro. Two more years. Nothing crazy. It's two more years. It's not going to pay him nothing crazy, bro. He's not going to pay him nothing crazy. How much? What if he balls out this year? Then he demands that money. Look, in the NBA, first of all, a certain amount you know this, but it's the NBA, but it's in a regular job. First of all, that's two Back. years from now. First of all, that's two years from now, and you're living off a of what if, and they're not looking at a what if right now when it comes to Porter Jr., bro. They're not looking so at Porter that didn't go on him last year, he so Porter cover. wasn't doing his job. Oh, yeah. A role player respects 100 mil. A role player respects about 100 mil. A role player, you think he's getting Stop, 100, bro. He's getting 100 mil. You, you, a role know. player respects a hundred mil. This is what I'm telling you. A role player. Yes or no? You know what I'm saying? Not a max contract. If, not not three hundred. If, 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 if role player. If Michael Porter falls out these next two years, he will be getting hundred. He will be getting hundred plus mil. A uh, hundred plus. I'm going plus. If he falls out, to the I'm going to the, going to the almost two hundred range. Because no, 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 you, no, no, he's no, young. No, bro, he's so young, bro. bro. Oh, bro. Wait, wait, wait. But Calvin might be right though. Cause little do Dave know he don't want that much basketball, but I know that that market about to go up. Going to go up. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Right. So uh, the money is going to go. It's going to keep coming up, bro. Bro, bro the market put, bro. The, 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 he put up 128 something million for the summer league for the for the whole thing. They made three billion dollars, bro. 
off of that little oh. summer playoffs, bro. That Ooh. market is about to keep going up, bro. It, it's, it's a demand for it. He, he don't know, fool. Tatum was a bro, runner. speaking money, bro. And got 194 mil. Are you talking oh, about Rick is going to make that money for it? You said who? Tatum. 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 Jason. Hey, say, say that one more time. Who? Jason Tatum. Jason who? Stafford. Oh, okay. Jason Whoa. Stafford. He, he Whoa, that. Are you about to disrespect Jason? Oh, I was about to say. He I thought you about to disrespect Jason Tatum. He, on he, is, like, he, is, he is the face of a franchise right now. And he's been hey, him, and, him, him and Brown, him and Brown. Okay, are, so, are doing so, thing so right. I it, like I said, I don't know if you watch basketball, I don't know if you watch sports talks. All him the time. and Brown are going I, off right I, now. I, I go in, I go in and look at like a lot of different teams, podcasts, and stuff. I, I do a lot of stuff like that, bro. And you're then right. it's really trying to make that Donovan, Kevin, and Jokic a, 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 a big three, like they, they, they're not going to give them up for nothing. I said, I said, Donovan. I mean, Jamal. Jamal. I got you. Nigga, w- watch me. Watch it, bro. He gonna get paid more than Gary. He gonna get paid more than uh um um what's Gary Harris. He gonna get paid more than so Paul you're Millsap. Saying, you're, saying, you're saying he's next up in that in that in that pay, in the line of pay. hundred percent. hundred percent. Jamal already got his money. Yoka just got his. I'm telling you, if it was if it wasn't another superstar about to get paid, then Jokic would have got more money than that. And Jokic probably, and knowing Jokic, if you, you know, watch basketball, you know, if you, if you watch interviews, he's really a good guy, bro. You don't think he'll take a pay cut? You don't think no, so? I know he'll, he will. I know he'll take a pay cut. I know he will. 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 Michael Porter probably will ask for a good amount, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. He if he balls out. Think about think about his progression and where, where he's going. Think, think about um um what what do they say? Um I forgot what the word they use, but like his uh mm, hey, work. Hey, hey, hold on, hey, hold on real quick. Hey, don't, hey, don't, 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 don't address it. Hey, don't address it. Don't Mike address Johnson, it. get the fuck out of our stream, then I don't <laughs> care what you're talking about. Get this out, bro. I don't don't even talk to bro. Get out, bro. What is this? Get out. Hey, hey stop. Hey, hey, that's hey, enough energy, bro. That's hey, enough energy. Get out. We're a pop. Keep it going. They, they say, <laughs> like, they say like, you, got you got haters. I see a like, hater. Like, I, mean, <laughs> I, I see hey, a hater. It is what it is. It is what it is. You're going to leave it at that. Right, so people can see this. Nah, I want to put it on the screen. A hundred percent, No, you're not I want to give it a hundred percent. Come on, put it on the screen. That, that, that negative. Dave, Dave. I'm not, look, bro, why are you going to give it a Cause I love negative energy, bro. Because you're sitting here watching four, five I'm black men talk about what we want to talk about on this thing. I'm disappointed. So if you don't like it, then don't watch it, bro. Bye. Agree with him. <laughs> agree. Agree. Bye. Bye. Disappointed. They can stop. I, I agree. Bye. I'm not giving that man. Black is beautiful. You can get out. You're not giving that man. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. We got Tuesday. Matter of fact, we can stay. We can stay live for a little bit longer, bro. You know, I was about to cut it off. Yeah, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? We gonna we gonna go to an hour and fifteen today, cause uh, just cause just cause of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just, just because you disappointed. That was stupid. Oh, yeah, we don't, you uh, disappointed. I love it. <laughs> Bye. You know, disappointed. So, Mike uh, you said, you said I, I'm just saying why are you trying hey, to get me. Stop giving it attention, bro. We moving on. Uh, college oh, football playoffs. Oh, baby. Oh, y'all got. Uh-huh. Oh, Alabama. 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 Oh, don't I, don't I, don't I ain't gonna lie, I ain't watching it, so I really don't know. Hey, <laughs> can I can I keep it a buck with y'all though? I said What's Ohio up? State was gonna be Clemson because Clemson don't have didn't have that same like like team that they had last year. I'm just being honest. They lost another game. I didn't think Notre Dame was even worthy of being in the top four. And I know I'm probably oh. the only person that say that. I don't care. After one person came back. And they destroyed Notre Dame like that. I was like, they don't, they don't yeah. look like they're supposed to be looking, bro. I'm just being honest. Like, mm-mm. so we, Notre Dame to wait, 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 two we talking about that? No, I'm just being honest. Way? Like, I'm just being honest. Like, I just feel like Ohio State versus Alabama, bro. I feel like Alabama gonna have that number because Ohio State gonna but, need that dominant running back. And no offense. Ohio State do have a really nice running back, bro. Oh, He's a dog. 
But I don't think he has it like that, bro. I'm just going to be honest. That wide receiver core is too nasty. And Harris is still being Harris, averaging six yards per carry. I don't like this this year because I feel like with the whole COVID, people missing games and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know. How I feel, bro. Uh, I feel like Ohio State has the potential to 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 upset Alabama. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They have the potential. Uh, Justin Fields has to be healthy because he, he is coming in hurt from last game. So I need him healthy, and I feel like Justin Fields has to ball out first. Yeah, of all. me too. And our, our secondary has to play the best game of their life. Personally, you know, because we, you know what's if crazy. We know Alabama, if we know anything about Alabama, bro, their receiving uh -huh. core is nuts. I mean, and they, they're getting a receiver they back. Get some water, though. No, he's, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming oh, back. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, bro. Back, bro. Four, three. From the, from the oh, broken four, ankle. Three. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, bro. Yeah, whenever we get ready to go, he has to ball out like they've never balled out before. And Justin That's Fields has to play the best game of his life. The last year against Clemson, it was a miscommunication. You know what I'm saying? The end of the game. Did Trevor even play in that game, bro? The who? Who? Trevor. Yeah, he played in the game. What are you talking about? Clemson? Yeah, last yeah. year they played. Oh. Shit out of yeah, played in no, this no, this yeah. year. Bro. Yeah, he played in it this year, bro. Ohio State just had their number, bro. Like yeah. Ohio State's just a better team all around. Trevor, I mean Trevor played okay, but like Justin, like Phil's did okay. But really, it was just the team, bro. The team just played amazing. I think Justin played okay, but the team just played so much more. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, mean, I, I hope they. Big win, but they're not. You're always you're always gonna play better when you have your leader. You know what I'm saying? Who's been your leader for the past four five years? When you have them on, yeah. the, on the floor with you, running and plays with you, executing with you. You're always gonna be better. They took Notre Dame to two overtimes with a backup, bro. With a backup, yeah, to two overtimes, yeah, and yeah, and Notre Dame play. barely put it out. Damn, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's that. Uh, since we had some, since we had some sketchy comments, I'm gonna talk about this because we didn't talk about it last time. I want to talk about hip hop's influence in there, today. and why yeah, is yeah. that? Yeah, bro. Like it's, it's ridiculous uh -huh. how how big of an influence hip hop has in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? Is that something that started with Jordan? Was Jordan one of the first people to really blend hip hop, or in that era, was it to blend hip hop and basketball, or did it come in the era of like? AI when it was like that rebellious era of the NBA where they started wearing the long the long pants and the tattoos and they really started bumping hip hop. You know what I'm saying? At what point do you think hip hop really gained its influence over the NBA? I'm gonna be honest. I don't think that the hip hop has a gained influence of the NBA. I think the NBA has gained influence over hip hop, and I might be the only person that really think about that. But think about how many like NBA stars that now rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Think how they okay. transcend. I've heard okay. a song with Daniel Leonard and who was it? I think it's Young Thug or someone like yeah. of that stature. Yeah, he do got a big a big song. And I'm just like, wow. but you can't say that though, because people got different hobbies, bro. And you, they might make it in one, but then they gotta put the other to the side. So I don't know. Right, but it's a, but I feel it's like a I, ball and Daniel Leonard, the biggest rappers. That's NBA stars that do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously they're gonna shoot the NBA because they make I mean, more money. I mean, it's, it's a lot nowadays. Yeah. Bro. There's a lot of these young people, young young folks in the league rapping. I heard that dude Miles Bridges rap. Oh, yeah, he do. He yeah. did. He's yeah. R&B singer. Yeah, <laughs> and that man can oh, sing. Oh, uh, Victor, you talking about Victor? That man, yeah. Is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Victor is a whole singer off this like, shit. So, like, I feel like at this point, bro, like NBA and hip hop. That was cool. I also can't listen to a, a hip hop song and, and not be an NBA reference in the hip hop song. Yeah, because I often rules the, he rules, rules hip hop. It. It's not really, you don't really hear yeah. in the NFL, you know what I'm saying? 
You hear a couple, but you don't really hear a lot. You don't hear any no, MLB. Oh, I'm going to tell you the difference. You the difference. No. the difference is you're wearing a mask and it's 11 or 22 people on the field with you. You know what I'm saying? So there's a difference in like NFL superstardom and like, you know, NBA. In NBA, there's only 10 people on the court. In the NFL, you have 22 Everyone people is. that has masks on that people can't, can't even hardly recognize. You know what right. I'm saying? If you ask a female who is blah, 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 and ask a, a, a female who is this NBA star, they're going to recognize this NBA star over this football player. Right. I'm just going to keep it up. So, so wait, are we talking about no, NBA versus NFL or no, NBA and we're talking, rapper? We're, we're talking no, we're just about, talking about – yeah. We're talking about hip hop's influence over the NBA or vice versa, NBA's influence over hip hop. Oh um, yeah. When, when, when do you when do you ever when do you ever see a performance at an NBA event other than hip hop? You go to NFL, well, they have hey, top they dang. have top singers. What's up? Dang, hold on real quick. I'm sorry. Dang, hold on. Hey, Mr. Bean, you're a hundred percent you a hundred percent correct. Everybody's welcome in this stream, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're all friends. That just have a like a a drive to get our word across. You know what I'm saying? We all come from the same place. You know what I'm saying? It's just a coincidence that we're all black, bro. You know what I'm saying? But we have all different types of people on the stream. So this right. guy was just being an asshole, and that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? But we enjoy that you are watching the stream and you're commenting us on us. You know what I'm saying? And we definitely enjoy your view. So please continue. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, babe. I just had to get no, that out. Sure. I was gonna, I, I seen a comment and I was gonna I was gonna address have it I was gonna address it and be a last thing we said before we got off the air. But I'm gonna say it now and then mm -hmm. we're gonna touch this, this one comment that we have about the hip hop thing and then we got off the air. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. this dream is for people to be open. You know what I'm saying? You can come in and, and you can express how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Oh we hey, want you to do I would love that. I, I you can do it. We want you to do it. We want you to we want you to do it respectfully with respect out of yes, anybody. Sir. If if there's anything that we say that we feel like it's gonna be sketchy, we always say respectfully, we always make sure that we do it as respectfully as possible. So you can come and you can show your views respectfully, and it's not just gonna get shot down, it's not just going to be anything like that. You know what I'm saying? If you do it respectfully, that's yes, the key. We want to respect everybody. That's the key, is respect, plain and simple. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, um, I'm gonna put up this topic or this comment, and then we're gonna Get off the air, man. You know what I'm saying? We had to go yeah. a little long because we had some little some some body coming here being a little geeky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. My man T said all athletes get motivated by music, and we all have to get us truly ready to perform. Pop just don't do that. I feel like for me I'm personally, agree. when I played, when I played, I couldn't really listen to pop. You know what I'm saying? But there are different people who listen to different things. You hey. feel me? Like there's people who me. get ready to copy music. Me. There's some people who get ready to yo. rock music. I, but I, don't, I, like, I, I don't know I about like, go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say go ahead, like, go when, you, when you look at a sport, bro, you can kind of tell mm -hmm. what music is going to lead that sport by the demographic of the, of the players. And where I don't, come. I don't agree with that. I'm gonna tell you why. They lead. They say the most. They say this majority will because yeah, it's I, just say majority because I don't okay, majority. majority. I, I know some people majority. that don't that that do certain things. You know what I'm saying? They get them ready to do stuff. And mm -hmm. it ain't hip hop. It's 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 bop. <laughs> it's bop. it's, hey, it's I weird. Kind of musical, it's not even think about it. I wouldn't even think about it. But yes, classical and R and B gets me, yes, boy. When I lift weights, bro, classical and yeah. R and B. I like my body to feel relaxed and calm. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It I don't want nothing on what you're doing, bro. It all depends on no, what I'm talking about. You are artist. I'm talking about like before I play a game. Before I play a game, I'm listening to classical music all the way up until I am forced to listen to like uh, nah, rock music. I don't know. I don't know if you were, if you were an NFL player and you listen to classical music before a game. Nah, I don't but know. They, no, they, no, they, 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 they do it because it relaxes them. They do it. On a hundred percent. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I, 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 I understand popular. where I understand where Dre's coming from because when you look at the NFL, out the ordinary, but I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, I, just I, I understand where Dre's coming from. A defensive line in the box before he' about to go smack somebody helmet off. I don't. That's tough. That's a quick match. I understand. Look, look. Mm -hmm. I understand. I understand because. 
football is a very violent sport. So you feel like you got to get into like a hyped up adrenaline pumping, you know, like you don't. mood. And a lot of a lot of players do do that, but there's a lot of players, bro, that listen to R and B, uh, classical, yeah. country. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, it's, it's really, it's really, really. Once you get into players, it's really personal, personally based. When I said exactly. over at the NBA, I'm talking about as far as like when you turn on ESPN, NBA on ESPN. You know what I'm saying? The background music you hear into the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's hip hop. You know yeah, talking, it's gonna be hip hop. Yeah. I'm not talking personally. I'm talking league wise. You know what I'm saying? When you have the halftime shows at the NBA, Ooh. nine times out of ten oh, is oh yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm yeah, for sure. For sure. Hip-hop, when I say hip hop over NBA, I'm not talking about the players. I'm talking about the league as like what they put on. You know what I'm saying? When you get in, when you get NFL, nine times out of ten, your halftime oh, yeah. shows are pop artists, you Beyonce, Bruno Mars, and Beyonce does perform at the NBA because we can Beyonce, hear. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? At NBA, weekend. it's the weekend. At the NBA, we're gonna get yeah, no, 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 no. NFL. Yeah, we oh yes, yeah, exactly. exactly. Super Bowl. Yeah, weekend. Weekend. But Super Bowl. NBA, you have like Snoop Dogg. You have J Cole. You know what I'm saying? You have the baby. Yeah, you do. You know, like Christmas Day, the whole broadcast. You know what I'm saying the intro, everything was the baby. So it's like, yeah, NBA is like just hugged on to hip hop. You know what I'm saying? And so. That's it's why I brought. True. That's why I brought the question. I, I I noticed that how different leagues tend to gear their broadcast off of certain type of yeah, music. They, they have the the set music they like the most. Like if you mm-hmm. if you ever played two K, there's that's part two K is part of the NBA. I want y'all to know that it right is. now. Mm-hmm. It is. Now it is. It is. Hey Jay Z, I think so, I think since Jay Z dropped that uh dropped their his mix on there, there's only been. Rap music, oh, no, like some no, type of no, pop, no, no, no. It's, it's but been, really rap. It's been other good stuff too, man. Um, and I can say, no, no, this, I'm saying it. There's been like, difference, but it's majority. If it's an eighty twenty, right. it's gonna be eighty twenty. It's it's same thing in Madden though. Madden is majority rap music. If you didn't know, there's some some rock music and stuff. But if it was a seventy thirty split, it would be rap music. Same they thing city yeah. girls on there, bro. It's okay. Come on, let's be honest. Agree. No, it's not city girls. <laughs> like, like, come on. Not city girls, bro. Yeah, I, I, bro. Know go. I know we got to go, but I got to put this out yeah. there. Go, go ahead. ahead. Yeah, I got to put this out there. Hey, for y'all, play 2K. Hey, Dre Man on Twitch. I'm about to do some funny shit. 2K in real life can let you play a whole WNBA player. My play. I'm about to get on that shit. Mm-hmm. I'm about to run that shit up. Hey, you want if, if y'all have, if y'all haven't Your watched, man, Dre, <laughs> if you haven't watched, that's <laughs> great, bro. It's hilarious, man. Talk about one of the funniest gamers, man. I be playing with him. Hey. No homo. I be playing with him, and uh, I be mad at him, bro. I be ready to cuss him out because he he be lying. This earlier today, man. I'm in a firefight on Fortnite. I'm like, yo, somebody is somebody over here by me. Drake's like, all right, bet I'm pulling up. I'm steady fighting for a good three minutes. Drake, nowhere near, nowhere near, bro. You know what wow. I'm saying? I'm legit, bro. Three I go minutes. down. I go, I go down, bro. This man, Drake, come out of nowhere, fine throwing grenades. Psh, psh. Like, bro, I was right here the whole time. Nigga, no, you wasn't. You was not here the whole time. <laughs> did, did he die? Did I? Did you die? No. Did, 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 did the player that put you down, did he die? Yes, bro. And what happened did right you, after that? Did you get rezzed? Did I get? I did get rezzed. I did. Okay. And then teammate. Okay. And what happened? I had to keep right away. And I did. I saved you. I got you, LeBron. Why you hit, bro? I and then his still, teammate came and cleaned up. But look though, look man, nah, Dave, nah, he be on some other stuff, bro. When I, Dave real life will tell you, he will real life tell you, <laughs> I'm fighting, right? He was like, nah, bro, I got to heal, bro, I got to heal. If I'm fighting, you going to go heal up instead of helping me fight? Facts. <laughs> hey, hey, you lying. Hey, hey, you lying, bro. Hey, Tell the truth. I'm going to say, based on that, look at my man Mook on, uh, you know what I'm saying, on the Netflix and Hulu or whatever. Shout my man out <laughs> on Twitch. Hey, my boy, uh, Dave <laughs> Twitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't do none of that, bro. But look, I'm here on here, bro. Just hit us up on here. Facebook, live, whatever, YouTube. And this has been 
another episode. And we got big things coming in the works this year to start it out on a good note. So keep following, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to get the joint popping. Thank y'all for tuning in. Get those some bees on them, man. This is another good show. We'll be back Tuesday. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all have y'all questions, y'all comments, y'all concerns ready. We open for everybody, man. We love it all, man. Y'all have a good night. Everyone. And we see you on the tweet.